Hello, this is Nick Kringus. It is Tuesday, March 4th, 2014. Happy March. And today we're going to be talking about um, New Jersey personal injury attorney uh, or personal injury lawyer in New Jersey. Uh, let's jump right in. The outline of this broadcast is um, we're going to go into the on-page elements of the competitors of this market and see what they're doing on their websites that's making them rank for these terms. We're also going to get a level of, uh, of competition in terms of the on-page factors and where you can sneak in or if everybody's doing everything right. And, uh, and then in that case, you'd have to do the same thing but outrank them in terms of backlinks, which is our second part of the program, as looking at these people's um, backlinks, meaning what other sites are linking in to those websites and causing them to rank in such a way. Uh, so the first thing we always do is we go to Google and we type in our keyword phrase, personal injury lawyer in New Jersey. And I like to type that one in because it's a little uh, more competitive, slightly more competitive than if you type in New Jersey personal injury lawyer. That's just a personal thought. That's not based on any research. It's just a hunch that the first words get the preferential treatment. Therefore, if somebody's searching for personal injury lawyer, um, first, that means more to, to the search engine than New Jersey personal injury lawyer. But that's just a, uh, a theory that this is harder than the other way. So. As you can see, and as always, we are um, using a couple of tools here, free tools. Uh, let me get rid of this RoboForm to make a little more room. SEO Book is the uh, free Firefox add-on that you can get that shows you page rank and a bunch of different other data. Uh, SEO Moz, M-O-Z, is another toolbox you can get, a uh, toolbar you can get for Firefox that shows you its own proprietary metrics, but these metrics are my favorite in terms of actual strength of a website. And then there's a couple other metrics we'll show you as well, but uh, page authority is is out of 100, and it's the actual page's authority. Uh, domain is the entire website's authority. And as you can see, inner pages of a website are usually less, if you follow my cursor down here, inner pages of a website like this one are usually less authoritative than, than the entire domain. Now, this guy has a lot of links pointed to the single page, so it's close. But the home page is usually the most authoritative page. As you can see here, page authority 46 and domain authority of 35. Um, so let's look at these competitors here. Number one is uh, lawyers.com, a directory. Number two is njatty.com, NJ Attorney. And specifically, what we want to look at is the title, what you see here, the meta title, these things here. Uh, the URL, which is underneath right here. Sometimes it's uh, truncated. And then also the meta description. And in the past, we would just try to fit or stuff personal injury lawyer in New Jersey right into our title the way this person did and exactly the same way uh, right into our description so but that's all in the past and now it takes a little bit more nuance to do this right and to make everything look natural There's less shortcuts these days in terms of getting it right you gotta be really good at what you're doing in my opinion to rank these days especially in these harder uh, keywords and markets. Um, so instead of New Jersey, uh, personal injury lawyer in New Jersey, some of them you see have the word in to make it more conversational, which is fantastic. Uh, other people spread it out more, personal injury lawyers, and then New Jersey is over here at the end of the sentence, and that's fine too. You can see how they uh, highlight it. So this has to be 156 characters or less and the title is 70 characters or less. But if you're using a plugin for WordPress, uh, then you can do these, you can create these right in there in each and every post and page that you publish, go down below. And we use WordPress SEO by Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T. 
and you can set these exactly the way you want. Uh, my opinion is, my suggestion and advice is to make it look as conversational, as natural as possible. You see this here? It's not even capitalized, so that's not very good. Um, not only that, personal injury lawyer in New Jersey, it's showing me that these exact match domains are, I am logged in, so that might not be the actual result. We'll, we'll actually, we'll do a better search, but sometimes the, the exact match domains are showing up more and more lately. This is a brand new website, Personal Injury Lawyer NJ, and like I say every week, exact match domains, they did work very, very well in the past, and you would rank right away if you had that uh, name in your URL. Uh, one of my mentors a few years back would say, if you have the exact match domain, the number one spot is yours to lose. So it was that much of a given that if your URL had that in the name, uh, then you had the number one spot, no matter what market. But now, uh, less and less uh, EMDs are showing up unless they're uh, doing a lot of things right and everything else looks natural and they're really an authoritative site. Uh, and I think that you should focus more on building a big authority site for your firm and that way any page or post you publish will show up and for example you see on every first page is three or four directories and an inner page of that site is ranking for that term and the inner page may have an authority of one where it's just brand new with no links going to it but the domain authority is so high that anything they publish on that website now is going to rank so that's what you want to shoot for there a high domain authority and then anything you publish is strong and as you can see down here, uh, that's the same case for Fine Law, who has all their clients' websites pointing into them. Um, so that's a little self-serving, obviously. They have two spots on the first page. Uh, domain authority of 27, 35, 25, and 33. And then over here is the DMV.org. So we have about four uh, really strong directories and then six spots for law firm competitors I would say and each and every one of the competitors is doing a great job of putting the keyword in their uh, titles and descriptions except for this guy here who doesn't have it in the description all he has is personal injury um, but he doesn't have lawyer or attorney or law firm in the description so uh, he could improve on that and maybe get a, a few positions higher but all in all it's a very competitive market and usually it'll take a little while, a few months to rank for something like this. So it could be a long-term strategy. Um, you can also look at uh, different terms like car accident lawyer, New Jersey, and see if those are a little bit more attainable more quickly. Uh, fatal car accident lawyer, New Jersey would be even more attainable. Or if you want to put personal injury lawyer, uh, Bergen or some county or... Um, a town that would be even more attainable. So in what what we do at Apricot Law is <clears throat> we try to build the authority of the website over a few months, six months time, maybe even longer, uh, depending on the market. Uh, it's a long-term thing, SEO. It's not something that you can uh, just do real quick and then let go of. You want to always be building the authority of your website in my position. You're just, in my opinion, you're just building up the equity and the value of that website so it just makes a lot of business sense to do so and on the back end you get leads from these uh, from the search engine placements that you'll be getting from the higher authority uh, so for car accident lawyer and and again I, I got off track there but what we do is we like to build the authority of the of the domain and then in the meantime build little pages to target these smaller terms uh, like a wrongful death car accident lawyer in New Jersey or a car accident lawyer Bergen County or personal injury lawyer Middlesex so we'd like to do those and those are fast rankers we call them because um, they, they just need a few links and they need to be set up properly and then usually you can rank those pretty quickly within a matter of weeks if not shorter 
So on the back end, we go for the big terms, but on the front end, we're going for the little terms. And we really want to rank for the whole topic. Uh, as you can see here, well, unfortunately, the, uh, the stats didn't show up below. Um, let's see. Some of the same names, this guy was on the other page. And just a side note, um, something really exciting happened in uh, Apricot Law last week. We were able to rank one of our clients for accident attorney, um, just accident attorney, nationwide, no, uh, no location, anything, on page one of Google. Uh, it gets about 1,600 searches a month. We're really excited about that. So... What we're doing, it works, obviously, and we have the meta titles, meta descriptions, and the URLs set up uh, with the keywords in them, but in a conversational, natural-looking way. And then um, with the links that we build for the client on the back end, uh, it's just a super powerful combination. So let's, let's continue here with Personal Injury Lawyer in New Jersey. I just wanted to give you a little news about Apricot Law and the success that we're having. And I also promise uh, you to uh, a, a, a tool that we've been using that's really cool, so I'm going to show that to you in a second. Uh, we just started using this tool, and the level of competitive intelligence that it allows you to get is simply incredible. Um, in the past, there was tools that could do what it does, uh, but Google put a stop to them, so I didn't think they existed anymore. But this one I just found, and I just I'm, I'm so excited that that a tool like this is out again. So we go to Market Samurai, which is a $150 tool paid once. And I only use this really for the uh, SEO competition module. I don't use it for anything else. I just like the way that it shows you the results all on the, uh, all page one results all in the same spot. And then what it will do is eventually, there we go. It'll give you all the details of those websites and their pages uh, right here. And for a detailed explanation of what each one of these means, um, you can look on our website, apricotlaw.com, and it's not there yet. I'll be posting that today because I figure that's a good thing. But uh, domain age, page rank, level, it's the level of authority. It's the, um, determined by Google's page rank al algorithm. CF and TF are majestic SEO uh, figures, metrics, proprietary to them. I like these as well. Uh, it shows you a real good idea how trustworthy a site is in, in the eyes of Google. And these numbers up here are really, really high. So uh, just so you know, these are incredibly authoritative websites that you're going to be going up against just by first glance. You have three out of the six attorneys that are on page one have this high of, of CF and TF. The other guy's just there because he has the name uh, in the domain. And if you look here, the backlinks to the entire domain is only six, a brand new website. Uh, this guy can be taken out. Corradino and Papa.com, only 189 backlinks to the entire website. So these two are very weak and brand new competitors. Uh, everybody else is either medium strength or higher. Uh, we're not looking again at the directories like this one, this one, or this one, or this one. No, excuse me. So the, the DMV one that we found was only to me. But here, the actual results shows three directories. So we have seven law firms that we'll be competing against. Um, NRDMlaw.com, Corradino and Papa.com, DSS Law dot com grossman justice dot com personal injury lawyer nj dot com nj attorney dot com and console and hallowell dot com so if you're in this market it's a really good idea to have a file on each and every one of these competitors and to build that file and folder um, so you know what they're doing obviously so just like that quote from Sun Tzu uh, I don't know the exact quote, but it's if you know yourself and you know your enemy, you'll win every battle, which I believe in wholeheartedly. So the more intelligence you get on these people, the better. Anyway, uh, index count 
that's probably not working because that's not right all zeros that means the index number of pages on their websites and shows you the size of those of those websites I would assume that um, some of these like this one here is a big big website with a lot of pages same with this but that's just an assumption uh, referring domains to the domain so referring domains is probably more important than backlinks because one domain could theoretically have thousands of pages all linking back to your website right and but that's not as powerful as getting one link from from one website and having a thousand of those um, different domains pointing back to you so on one hand in comparison we have one website one domain linking a thousand times to you as compared to a thousand domains uh, with one link each pointing back to you the latter is obviously more powerful and has more effect on your Google ranking than the, than the former so these here referring domains to the domain and referring domains to the page um, I mean this is a tough market you have this one here that's not that many 61 44 not that many and four so you have three spots you can take on uh, page one of Google I wouldn't say easily but these are definitely beatable competitors uh, it might take a few months but no doubt they can be beat the others like you have 387 referring domains 287 um, and 467 and over a thousand so those are gonna take a little while and those are pretty seasoned websites uh, now if you go to the actual page that's ranking this gives you a glimmer of hope because like I said before um, the the domain you can be building over time to become more and more authoritative uh, but these pages as you can see and this is a trend in Google these days so pay attention here as you can see the domains are very authoritative with all these links and Google likes to give those authoritative domains um, the rankings for their inner pages that are not so seasoned they're pretty new and they don't have that many links and they're giving them that credit because they've already proven themselves and the domain has proven to be trustworthy and Google knows that it can send its visitors there and they'll be taken care of because the domain's been around for a long time it has thousands and thousands of links going to the entire domain so if they publish a new page it doesn't take that much to get them on the first page so as you can see here these are very low but these page numbers but they are up there in Google on page one uh, this one is probably let me see so this one's the probably most the most competitive out of all of them as you can see it's the home page so that makes sense that most of the backlinks not this big of a num of a of a ratio of backlinks to the home page compared to the other pages usually it's about half this guy's got about 80 percent of his backlinks going to the home page and that's why his home page is ranking there uh, I'd rather see like you know 5,000 6,000 of these 12,000 links going to the home page and the rest going to inner pages it just makes the site that so much stronger uh, from the bottom up so we're gonna go into our tool now and um, what I have to say about this is you can probably go in here and beat these guys after a while but it's not gonna be overnight so what we want to do is we want to go to this tool called SEM Rush and type in one of those competitors and see what they're ranking for. And this is just the most exciting thing ever, in my opinion, uh, a tool that shows you what these people are ranking for. Just think about all the keyword ideas you can get once you know what their most profitable keywords are, right? So on the right, you can see... Yeah, for some reason, they're only ranking for a few things. Hold on. Okay, so they've been taking a dip in organic traffic, and frankly, they don't get that much. I've seen websites that are a lot stronger, and like I told you earlier, it may be due to the fact that all their backlinks are going to the homepage. Because there's only so many things the homepage can rank for. 
So this person, like an EMD, is trying to rank the home page for their main terms and for everything, which doesn't make any sense. Um, you can see over here what they're actually ranking for. Uh, aviation accident attorney, they're ranking number six, which is a huge, these are huge terms. They're not even for New Jersey, which surprised me. Let's see. So these are the ads over here. These are the actual paid advertisements in Google that they're taking out. And on the left is organic, meaning uh, the search engine results. So lawyers' car accidents. Lawyers' car accidents. And this Atlantic City, New Jersey page is ranking for that. Lawyers' car accidents. I just don't even believe it. Hmm. So maybe it again, maybe it's because I'm signed into Google back there. And I don't know if now if I sign out if it's going to do any difference. But the reason why I'm showing you these keywords that they're ranking for is because now you can do a, a few things with these keywords. In terms of on page optimization, um, you you want to make sure that these keywords, if you want to rank for these as well, are in your on your website somewhere. Um, here you see New Jersey wrongful death lawyer. They rank number three for that, and they have a page called wrongful death claims. So if you have a page that says New Jersey uh, wrongful death lawyer, and not you know not just that, but in a conversational way, and has all those terms, which their page doesn't. See here, their page doesn't have all those terms, um, and if you match their backlink profile, you could be you could beat them uh, for that. And I wish I could open this up more, but I can't apparently. No. Okay. So look at these keywords that you could pick up, and you could have content written on them. Uh, you can make sure they're in your web on your website. So the way we do it in Apricot Law is we find these keywords for our clients and it even tells you like the percentage of traffic <laughs> that's going to this person's website because of these, right? See, this is an ac attorney car accident. See, I don't even understand why it says that because it's not working. Let's see. I think it knows my location. It's giving me New York results possibly but the tool is telling me that usually you're going to see this person this is all caps I don't like that normally this tool is pretty accurate so organic keywords 1 through 89 you might want to check on your end see what you come up with but either way it's giving you a lot of really good keywords uh, that the site ranks for and the volume of those keywords each and every month. So Samuel Davis gets a thousand searches a month. Wow. The guy's name gets a thousand searches a month. Aviation accident lawyer 50. Traumatic brain injury attorney. This is a good, this is a really good term in my opinion. Traumatic brain injury attorney. Because it's only searched 70 times, but the competition on a term like this is really low. So you can get up to page one really, really quickly, traumatic brain injury attorney in, in New Jersey, um, if you have all the on-page factors correctly and with just a few backlinks. New Jersey mesothelioma lawyer. So as you can see, I'm shoving my foot in my mouth by um, continually backing this tool and then the, the pages are on page one so there you go he's number four and let's see what this says um, so it says he's number five so it has to do with my location obviously but you've we've did find him on this one New Jersey mesothelioma lawyer so pick and choose the keywords uh, again got sidetracked but how we do it is we get our researchers um, all these keywords 
and we give them access to this tool actually and they come up with different keywords that they might want to get something written on and then they go and they search the web for different reference URLs that they can uh, give to the writer and then they pass that work on to the writer to create something really good about that keyword and about that topic and then we publish it on the site and when we link to those new pages and try to get them ranked so um, you can even export this right here export and it, you can get you can get all of these in a in a PDF I'm sorry not only PDF but Excel file and use them for your campaigns um, so as I'm talking here I'm sure you're looking at these terms motorcycle accident lawyer in New Jersey and frankly this guy he's got a lot of links to the home page but all of his URLs are not set up properly in my opinion if they want to rank for motorcycle accident in New Jersey it doesn't say New Jersey in the in the URL and it doesn't have it in a conversational tone but he's doing well can't knock him I think he could be doing better uh, more so um, now let's just move on so let's let's look at the other let's look at another competitor here. so this guy here NT NJ ATTY um, let's look at console and Hollowell dot com So he's doing actually better in the search engines. Um, search engine traffic 970. I don't know if those are numbers, but he's took a huge slide downwards to 283 console on Hollowell. And maybe we can find out why. Um, he's ranking for New Jersey personal injury attorney, but he used to rank for a ton more sites. Now he's ranking for about a quarter of what he used to rank for. So also this tool shows you competitors in organic search and I'll show you the top competitors with common keywords down here and so you can go through and you can look at those competitors as well and try to find you know, did you see those media ads that's pretty cool down here they show you the actual banner ads that these guys use see that So how powerful would it be if you had a folder on each one of these competitors with their banner ads, where they're advertising, the text in the banner ad like here, their competitors, what keywords they're ranking for. That's what it's all about. And they're not doing any uh, organic, I mean, I'm sorry, they're not doing any um, Google AdWords campaigns at the moment. Ooh, car accident lawyer Philadelphia number 10 and seven percent of their traffic car accident in fact slip and fall lawyers so mostly Philadelphia stuff and I want to see why these people fell off so much that brings us to our next point which is uh, our next segment in the webinar called backlinks and let's let's put them into a majestic SEO and see where they're getting their backlinks from so you can copy what they're doing and then surpass them Okay, the overview, like we said earlier, a thousand referring domains to the entire URL, not just the home page now. Um, external backlinks over 11,000. Trust flow and citation flow very high, 21 and 33. I wouldn't say very high, they're, they're above average. 
personal injury lawyers, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York. So maybe they're trying to rank for too much, um, well, which is usually not possible, but they're ranking only for Philadelphia. So let's see what's going on. I can tell you right away. I don't like the way this looks. You see how they're, they're anchor text, and again, anchor text is any text in a link. So if you look here, anchor text, this is, anchor text is the anchor text of this link. Backlinks is the anchor text of this link. And this is really the keys to the kingdom these days when it comes to Google, because they want to see the most diverse backlink uh, anchor text profile that you can have. And why is that? Well, the reason is the more diverse, the more natural it looks as if you're not doing any SEO. It's just happening naturally. P people are linking to you naturally. And each and every time they link to you, it's with a different text. And the first anchor text they have with over 11,000 backlinks has online gambling in the name, in the anchor text. So right off the bat, I want to tell you that that's not a good sign because because it's online gambling, something that Google doesn't trust uh, right away. It's already one strike against them, okay? I don't know why or who would be linking to them with online gambling because that doesn't seem like that's what they're shooting for. If they, if they rank for online gambling, what kind of clients are they going to get? They're not, they're, they're, usually people searching for online gambling are people that want to gamble online not like casino owners who need representation or something. So I'm not sure what the thinking was behind that, but it definitely definitely hurt them. Uh, the next one, which is 4%, is some long URL. After that is website, then another URL. Then finally, with 2% is their name. So this, the name of the firm should dominate the anchor text. Um, these days, that's working incredibly well. It shows Google that it, the site is an authority site, and people are linking to it by name. Legal Leader Scholarship, I mean, I could tell you just by looking at this that it's no wonder why their, their rankings drop to about a quarter of what they used to be, because this anchor text profile is just is not very good at all, in my opinion. IMO. Um, and let's look closer at the anchor text, online gambling. All right, so let's, let's look at many, how many they have. So they have a lot of them. If you go to the last page, you'll see they have a ton of different anchor texts, 674. Fried chicken plate being one of them still makes no sense. I don't understand it. Let's look at some other ones. Okay, so they have a good diversity, but like I said, I'd like to have the names of the attorneys and the name of the firm up really high as if people were linking to those uh, people and to the firm by name. They're not really overdoing it with any specifically. It's just a mix of their anchor text is kind of uh, haphazard. And also with that online gambling being number one, I just don't frankly like that. You'll hear a splash from time to time. That's my email. Backlinks. Okay. Let's get rid of the deleted ones because if they fall off the first page, they're no longer listed. So most of their backlinks are coming from, the top three are coming from Google+. Law.ggu.edu uh, is a really authoritative one. This is a good link. They're getting a lot of EDU links, it seems. Not sure why. Let's see why. Uh, because I, I think earlier I saw an anchor text about some scholarship or financial aid uh, that they may be a part of. So what was the anchor text? Let's find this one. So for more, inf more information was the anchor text. So I press Control F, and then I can find the anchor text. Well, again. Things are not working out the way they should. Normally, I'd find the anchor text. I don't know what happened because it's not saying deleted. Let's look at another one. 
And then I don't want to spend too much time on this because I just don't think that uh, all of you can get links on these types of sites. He must have some kind of um, agreement or working relationship with them. So legal leader scholarship. See this here? Apparently they're they're doing something. It's it's creating it's getting them a bunch of different uh, .edu links. Uh, so they're giving out a a scholarship, which is probably a fantastic idea for for ethical link bait, basically, to have something like this, and then all these great uh, authority edu websites linking to this page because they're giving out a thousand dollars as a legal leader scholarship. That's a great idea. Great idea. So we just found something that you could do right away to get links from. EDU sites. Look at all these EDU sites linking into them. Just because of a thousand dollar scholarship, this is fantastic. So mattcuts.com, you probably commented on it. That's a comment link. So most of their links are coming from EDU sites, the top ones anyway, the really powerful ones. EDU. So this is this is exactly why they're ranking uh, for a lot of terms. But with that being said, they used to rank for a lot more, about four times as many as they rank for now. So again, just getting links from EDU sites is not going to cut it because it's not diverse enough. And like I say, I think every week and every time somebody talks to me about SEO is what's the difference between white hat and black hat all you hear these days is people saying that we only do white hat SEO but that's not always effective because this person is doing white hat SEO meaning they're getting links from .edu sites but since they're getting most of the links from .edu sites that doesn't look natural either why is only edu sites linking to the site Google asks and not a bunch of different sites it would be a lot more powerful if a, a ton of different websites were linking into this website with all different anchor text and mostly with the terms um, of their brand name and the lawyer's names, right? It would be a lot more powerful than getting all EDU backlinks. It just looks more natural. And for some reason, this is creating them or causing them to only rank for um, mostly Philadelphia terms now, which I don't get. This might have something to do with their on-page optimization and not getting those other terms in uh, where they should be. Let's see what it is. this says, lemonjustice.com. So this is a blog. It looks like a legit blog. I'm not sure how they got linked in here. Maybe it was just legit. Everything seems to be like uh, all white hat with these people uh, so far. AVO is a directory, as you probably know, but mostly EDU links, which is why they're ranking so well, but not as well as they used to because of the lack of diversity, in my opinion. Let's go a little further. njattorney.com okay martindale.com is their first link a directory let's hide deleted backlinks and let's also go back to their anchor text because I like to look at that first if if you're over optimized with your meta title URL meta description and your anchor text that's the clear sign of a penalty that not a penalty where Google won't allow you on their index. Uh, don't get me wrong. The Google index to me is more like a, a filter. So if somebody's searching for, let's say you have, let's say you have a filter with all these different criteria, 
and you're searching something and you put in all these different criteria. Um, well, on the other end, you keep narrowing down your, your search results by adding more and more criteria. So in the same way with Google, if you don't pass a certain test and you don't pass these certain criteria that they have set, um, like the anchor text, meta title, meta description, URL is over-optimized with the term that you want to rank for, you won't pass through that filter when somebody searches for that term. So what you want to do is make it look natural as if you know, you're not trying to rank for these terms, but it's just they naturally occur on your page. Uh, and they're useful to the reader and they make a lot of sense. So that way you're under-optimized. So I would like to say, you know, un, we're, most of the time we're working on under-optimization these days because everybody used to do this and do it so much that everybody seems to be over-optimized these days. So when you under-optimize, you fly under the radar and through that filter, and then all the links that go to your site have the, the maximum effectiveness. Uh, this guy, this is a, a powerful site here, 487 referring domains. 8,000 links, not the most powerful site, but look at the trust flow and citation flow. What this shows me is that the links that they're getting are super high quality. Uh, the trust is actual trust of people like clicking from the link onto their site. Uh, citation flow is like the, qual uh, the quantity of links pointed into their site at any give given time. Um, <laughs> but with that being said, defamation lawyer, they use almost 20% of the time. And I would be surprised if I saw them ranking for defamation lawyer because that's just too much. That's over-optimized anchor text. But I always you know, try to put my foot in my mouth before actually searching. But no, they're not there, defamation lawyer. And I would be shocked if njattorney.com ranked anywhere defamation lawyer in the top 100 or so for this. Now they don't rank in the top 100 for defamation lawyer, mostly because they use that anchor text so many times that they've filtered their self out for that term. Does that make sense? So website and defamation lawyer are the top two. Um, this one is the attorney, the firm name, which is good. The website name, which is fine, name, brand name, brand name, brand name. This is great. So besides these two, they have a lot of brand name links, which is excellent and works really well these days. Another thing that works really, really well is mixing in a bunch of uh, conversational anchor text. This has been working great with our, with our testing. So instead of saying defamation lawyer, uh, we say something like, this is the defamation lawyer I recommend in the anchor text of the link. So another reason why white hat SEO doesn't always work, uh, or black hat for that matter, is because um, you're not using the different anchor text over and over again, and you're not using anchor text that's working these days like conversational anchor text. Um, so you can go out and build um, the whitest hat, the whitest hat, the most white hat link you can find being like, let's say, a directory link or, or a guest blog post on a real authoritative website. But if you keep using the same anchor text and you don't know that conversational anchor text is working these days uh, as opposed to like what you want to rank for specifically, then it's not going to work for you. It doesn't matter what type of link it is. If you don't know what's going on with anchor text and over-optimization, you're not going to get the results that, that you thought you would. So let's move on to backlinks. Martindale Hubble, facemrecords.ro blog. Hmm. Interesting. It's a no follow has been deleted. I just want to see what type of site this is. Uh, it's a it's a cheap blog comment. And it's not even in a high page rank page, unless this is not working right now, which is totally possible. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the page is 31, so not the most authoritative site. Um, but it is their strongest backlink, which is uh, which is pretty funny. 
the strongest backlink happens to be a spammy comment. And that was one of the ones that said defamation lawyer. Nursing home negligence. Um, so what I'm looking at here is the URL flow metrics. And again, um, it's not so much the power of the domain linking into you, but the power of the page linking into you. And so I'm looking at the URL, the actual page that's linking in, and to see how powerful these pages are. And trust flow and citation flow tell you one thing. Uh, and then when you actually go to the site, you can see uh, what the page rank, the actual page rank of the site is. And this is how you rank for a really quick ranker. Uh, normally you can get one or two like high page rank links to a non not so competitive term and you'll rank on page one or two practically overnight. So I'm just looking to see what type of site this is. This might be owned by them, it might not be. They might have a paid link on here somewhere, I'm not sure. Rosenfield Injury Lawyers also linked to them. Let's see why. So they link to them with PDF. Uh, resources, that's pretty good. So they actually, they put out some good content in the form of a PDF and it got linked to by this website. Not a high authority site, the page authority is only 16 and it has no page rank, um, but it's a real site that counts for something. Let's see, so these people can definitely be beat, no doubt. Um, because they don't have the most powerful of backlinks. Officers board, so they're on the board, I guess, of this, tange.org. Uh, Justia is a directory that you can get your site listed in. And at apricotlaw.com, we have a list of directories for you, uh, the 65 legal directories that your law firm should be listed in, uh, because directories are common uh, in most page one websites that I research these days, like Justia and Martindale, um, Avo. As you can see here, a bunch of different directories. So that's working for them, so why not do it for yourself? NewJerseyLawyers.com with dashes in between. Let's find out what this is. So this is a New Jersey Lawyers directory, not on the directories list, but you can submit your link here if you're a New Jersey lawyer and make sure that it says it has a, an active link back to your website. So that's just a paid directory link right there that you can get on your own today. VaginaEggInStart.nl. God only knows what that is. Okay. This is like some paid text link somewhere here <laughs> on some irrelevant site. God only knows where these, what this SEO, whoever they had at one point do. <laughs> I mean, they probably got a bad name after this one, and the guy was like, forget SEO because they're all a bunch of scammers linking to my website from sites like these. So this site doesn't even have any page rank, so not sure why they would want to get a link from there. A few links apparently. All in all though, these links are not that powerful. I mean, this is the only page rank link, it's a PR2 uh, that we've seen. And Not sure how they got in here. There's some like weird links that they have. Okay. 
So pretty relevant links for the most part, mostly directories. Um, some weird links, some spammy links, but all in all, not so powerful links. Like the page rank of the pages linking in are not that powerful. Um, so in my, I think Apricot Law could definitely take out somebody from the uh, page one spots of personal injury lawyer New Jersey. For the normal SEO, it might take a long time, if ever. Uh, for Africa Law, I'd give this a couple months, but these guys, they don't have the greatest SEO to their sites. I mean, their metrics are pretty good, but this guy, for example, he's losing ground in the search engines daily. Uh, this one, his links are not that powerful. So their on-page stuff is pretty strong, and they have a lot of links, so that's why it might take some time. But if your on-page stuff, uh, on-page factors, elements are just as strong as these people's, and then you come in with a better link profile and you don't over-optimize your anchor text and you get links from all different places, including some really powerful, powerful links that we can talk to you about if you'd like. Um, give us a call at Apricot Law and we'll explain to you exactly how we get these high page rank links. And a lot of our links, let's say we'll get actual page, the actual page page rank will be like a PR3 or PR4 or PR5. And that's why we've been able to rank for uh, New York personal injury attorney NY and all types of car accident lawyer New York terms and now accident attorneys because of the power of our backlinks in combination with the under optimization that we do uh, on page and with the anchor text. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, we weren't able to get too many good like link sources because a lot of them were just directories or some weird links and the other guy we have he gave us a good idea to put out a scholarship of a thousand dollars and he got a bunch of EDU links uh, link again to him for that scholarship. So that was a great idea in my opinion. Um, so until next week, this has been Personal Injury Lawyer New Jersey, Competitive Analysis, SEO Competitive Analysis with Nick Kringis of Apricot Law. Uh, see you next week. Thank you.